This week in Bison Sports on oh, 101.5 UMFM, it's so uh, it's never not football season, and we're talking not only to a very tall dude, <laughs> but this guy is going to be very modest. But I will pump his tires right now. Sure. Gold medalist for Team Canada. Tell the vast listening audience on 101.5 UMFM your name, your position. And what did you do in China? Uh, my name is Zach Williams. I played left tackle out in, for Team Canada. Uh, did many things out in China. We well, played football, obviously. Lots of football. Went to the zoo. We discovered China lots. But uh, played against Team Mexico in the first game. It was a good time and all that. Um, then we played against USA. They had lots of hype coming into the game. It was a good competition, fun. It always brings another level of uh, energy and stuff. Um, the pressure from like watching people from all around the world and all that is unique. It's like, okay, well, we'll know lots of people from back home are going to be watching, lots of schools, coaches, trying to represent your province. And I was the only one from Manitoba. So I was like, so it felt good. It made me feel proud and all that. I wanted to bring, like, represent the Bisons and all that online coaches, all that stuff. So my coach just said, think of like all other people in the world that don't get to experience this and just take it in. So I just went one play at a time, one rep at a time, just played football. It's a pretty amazing accomplishment. Zach Williams we're talking with. Under 19, the World Championships, Team Canada beat Team USA. We're definitely the underdogs. We lost them earlier in that. one twenty forty six. What was the difference between the championship win and the time you played earlier in China? Um, in a championship game, we just came in, new game plan. We adjusted. We, we, we played them the first time, so we knew what they were like. We knew how... We felt more confident, I believe, in the second game. Uh, we game planned a lot, just had everything down to routine, eliminated penalties and all that, focused, didn't retaliate, nothing. In the first game, we didn't finish on our drives. We drove the field down on them. So then they adjusted in the second game, ch- trying to chop the off and slime and all that. But yeah, we just came out top on the second game. So in this tournament, four down football. Different than what we play here in Canada, right? Three downs. For an offense lineman like yourself, uh, was it, uh, and it was a small roster too, I think only 40 guys played Team Canada. You played a lot, a ton of, ton of out there. Talk about sort of that adjustment you had to do during the championship. Um, for four downs compared to three downs, we run the ball a bit more, and the first couple games is on the ball. So we'd go run a play, line up right away, look at coach, he tells a play, we'd go get ready and then we'd run the play so it was always on the go and then high pe- high pace but uh, I trained myself so I wouldn't get tired right away and all that I was ready to go you were ready to go you've been with uh, Team Canada you played earlier in the international ball I believe out in Texas you played with a lot of the guys before that just talk about this year you've had you finished your first year with the Bisons on the field played with us in the playoff game as well, but just talk about your growth as a football player over the last year, and uh, would you have ever imagined you sort of wearing the Team Canada colors, and hey, look at this, look at this shiny medal he's got. That's a pretty, yeah. that's pretty impressive, but just talk about sort of what you've gone through in the last year. Um, last year, I got to compete against great athletes, David Onyemata, Evan Foster. Yeah, David Onyemata, we know that guy. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, greatly. Yeah, so I got to play against a lot of great athletes, so I got to learn from them, adjust my game. I have learned like my balance and all that. I learned from other players, learn all over the place and adjust my game to try to develop myself as a better football player. And then just adapt it to football. You know? Yeah, you know, it's impressive. Zach Williams here talking Bison, offensive lineman, now going into his second year. So what do you take all that experience going back to the Bisons after the, this great experience with Team Canada? What do, you, what do you use for that to go into the, your second year on the field with Manitoba? Um, that's a good question. That's why we always ask the good questions here on 101.5. Of course. 5, you know, of course. Uh, I don't know. I'm just going back in Bison, the main camp coming up. Just focus, going to go take it one rep at a time. I've learned some new stuff, new ways to read defense alignment, how to adjust and all that, new footwork, and just tips to help me as a player. So I'm going to adapt to my game, see how it works in CIS, Canadian rules and all that. And 
practice. Play football. Uh, a couple of last questions here for Zach Williams. Uh, how excited are you in year two? You've gone through a CIS year, you all the team can experience. I know there's some uh, availability on the line there, you know, for starting positions and stuff. How excited are you get back on the field there with the Bisons this season? Oh, very excited. Last year I got to go. I was playing at left tackle, guards, backing up at center. I was practicing all over the place. I played a little bit tight end and uh, wingman. So I got, a, I got a good feel of everywhere, feeling confident, knowing the place which helped me develop my game. Um, but I'm excited for this year coming off. It is, gonna, it is gonna be a great year for the Manitoba Bisons. We can't wait to have you back on the field there, Zach Williams. Lastly, a lot of people might not know this, but getting to China, it wasn't easy to get to China. Just talk about sort of a little bit of sacrifices, how, you know, sort of how you got out to China, because I think a lot of people might not know that it's not just a blank check you get to go to China because you get selected to, to the team. Yeah, um, it is a, a long process. So when I got selected for, uh, I got an email saying I was selected for the under-19 national team, but it went all the way back from when I went to Canada Cup and all that. So they selected me as a player because I was one of the top athletes in their eyes. I just wanted to go play hard. And then uh, I followed through the process to make it to the highest Team Canada team, which is the under-19 for the national team, which happens every two years. I, it's... Um, Oh, sorry. My okay. bad. Um, it's just a long process. Like, this keeps building up. It seems like it's far way away, but yet the time comes and it's boom right there. Uh, I went to I Texas a couple times. It's a week long. China was three weeks. And I was like, just day by day. It's mentally frustrating, but exciting at the same time. It is a cool experience. Uh, outside of football, what was one of your favorite memories in China? Favorite memories? Well, there's many, but Remember probably, it's family program here. So. Yeah, exactly. Um, just touring the city, going to the zoo and stuff, cool. seeing some tigers, um, eating different food is unique. It is and, unique. It yeah. is unique. I've been to China once myself, and it's kind of crazy to say the yeah. least. But it's it's awesome about that. Uh, lastly, here this bad boy here that you you've got in your hand, this medal. And this jersey, you get to keep this, you know, of, of your memories, you know, your experience, you're winning a championship with the U19 national team. Where the, Where is this going to go? Do you got a little bit of man cave um, somewhere to put it? I have, a, I have a room, actually. Well, I put all this stuff in my room. I have from right from when I was young, starting football as a running back, 7 to 12. And I stopped, came back in you know, grade 10. I started playing football, developed. But I have jerseys and medals, awards, championships, all that stuff in my room. I just have a collection, so. Well, this is, now you get to add a nice shiny gold thing to your collection. It's pretty impressive, uh, that gold medal that you've got there, Zach Williams. Uh, congratulations uh, on uh, winning the gold medal with Team Canada. We will be excited to see you back in a Bison uniform this year. We'll talk to you as we get into main camp in August there. Always appreciate your time. And you're listening to This Week in Bison Sports on 101.5 UMFM.